You may have noticed there's a lot of bowing around here. Why do we bow to the Buddha? What's there to respect? Well, he teaches us to respect things within ourselves that are worthy of respect. Our desire for true happiness and our ability to find that. There's so many currents of thought out in the world where one true happiness is something human beings can't find, or if it does come, it can't come through their own efforts. The first one is teaching you how to keep your sights lowered to be satisfied with what they want you to buy or what they want you to take. And the second one is teaching you to be a child. The Buddha is teaching us to be adults, that we do have the ability to find true happiness. We have to take responsibility for ourselves. He gives us guidelines, so that's why we respect him, because he's got good line, guidelines that work. He put them to use himself, found that they worked, and he talked to other people. They found that they worked, and so they've been passed on to us. This is why we take refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. So that ultimately, we can take refuge in ourselves. They are good examples. And not only good examples, but they can explain how they did things how they develop virtue, how they develop concentration, discernment, how they attain release. And these are all things that we can do, all things that human beings can do. There's nothing in there that requires that we be more than a human being. It's simply that we have to be adults. We have to grow up. When you grow up, it means sorting through all the stuff you've picked up ever since you were a child. There's some lessons you learned as a child that you no longer apply when you're an adult. Like when you cross the street, they say, always hold your mother's hand when you cross the street. Well, that's a good lesson when you're three or four years old, but as you get older, you don't need that lesson anymore. Then there are other lessons that say, before you cross the street, always look left and right. That's something you want to use all throughout your life. So it's good to stop and take stock. Okay, what are the things that I've picked up that I really don't need anymore, and what are the things I really do need to hold on to? Everyone tells us the teaching is all about letting go, letting go. Well, you let go of unskillful things, but you, to do that you have to hang on to skillful ones first. So it's good to get the mind quiet so you can sort these things out. And then you look at the example set by the Buddha. Okay, Where can you take that example and apply it to your life? Because you're the one who has to do the applying. He can't apply it for you. He can give you instructions, he can give you directions, but you're the one who actually has to do the practice. He's like one of those old-fashioned doctors that would tell you what medicines you needed to take, what herbs you needed to take. It was up to you to go out and find those herbs out in the forest. In other words, you're still the adult. You're still the one who's in charge of your practice. So Sometimes we want to revert to being children, but that's not what the Buddha would have us do. Okay? You, you can find true happiness by being an adult by being responsible for your thoughts and your words and your deeds. On the one hand, it's demanding a lot, but on the other hand, okay, it's going to provide a lot as well. 